It was Dick McPherson, the Syracuse football coach, who was the seer when it came to Don McPherson, the junior-to-be Syracuse quarterback. Sort of, anyway. Donnie, the one Mac said of the other, is going to be the story in the East for the next two years. Turns out that forecast wasn't nearly expansive enough because the kid, the one from Long Island, the one with the bird legs, according to orange legend Larry Zaka, the one who'd lose just two of his final 19 games in an SU uniform, would become the story in all of college football, east, west, north, and south. They've been playing football at Syracuse since 1889, and in all that time, only two teams have gone unbeaten the 1959 bunch that won the national title, and the 1987 club that was quarterbacked by Don McPherson. That would be the Don McPherson who earned all those national individual awards, was named first team All-American, and finished second in the Heisman Trophy balloting. That would be the Don McPherson who set 22 orange passing records and accounted for 65 touchdowns on his way, ultimately, to the College Football Hall of Fame. That would be the Don McPherson who wore jackets and ties to class, who read the New York Times virtually every day during his college years, and who's twice addressed the United States Congress on matters of societal importance. Now at barely six foot one and 190 pounds, he did chase pro football for a spell in both the NFL and the CFL. And he has been both businessman and television analyst for a long, long time. But Don McPherson's finest work since leaving SU has been in his roles as feminist and social activist and doer of so many things good. Still, the Orange and its followers will always have 1987 with all of its 11-0-1 football magic. They'll always have that story in the East and beyond. They'll always have the memory of Don McPherson.